everyone. Today we got to play Jamaica. This is a pirate theme track game. So you're going around the board and you're trying to get to the end faster than everybody else. Well, it's a race, but it's also collect treasure. It's you want to get the most treasure at the end. It doesn't really matter who gets there first. It's how many points you have at the end. Well, I know is you got to get past that line and I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Um so basically um Component wise, you've got cardboard chits for both the food, the money, and the cannons. Um, you do have little miniatures that I actually think are all right. Um, and then you've got wooden dice um, as well as the cards. The cards do have a linen finish. Yeah, and they're oversized. They're, these these are really nice cards. I don't know if they do they make sleeves this size. Yeah, because it's almost it's not quite tarot size, but I think they do make tarot. Tarot. That was tarot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But That's, they're not uh, wide enough to be not, tarot or right. tarot. It, it's not quite wide enough, but I do think they make a size similar to that. So I do think there may be tarot cards to size. Okay. So um, I will say there's purple, which mm -hmm. for me. When, and it's a six player game, which is unusual to see. Usually it's three to five or two to five or, or two to four. Or yeah. But you, this one's actually a six player game. So you can, you can really have a good round robin on this one. Yeah, um, so overall quality of pieces, I'd give this a 7. I mean... I actually think it's a little better than a 7. I mean, the boats are really nice. I really like those. They're carved intricately. Um, but, I mean, yes, there's a lot of cardboard, but these cards are really nice. The board is really good quality. Well, then what would um, you give it then? I think it's an 8. What do you think about I them? don't think it's an 8. I mean, the boats look all right, but they're not anything I would write to my dead mother about. Um, so. <laughs> what do you write to your dead mother about? <laughs> well, that's not, that's not any of your concern. <laughs> How do you get the messages to her? Do you like dig them and put them in there? Or does she have a mailbox? She has a mailbox. Okay. A PO box. Yeah. That's, that's the only way to get them to her. Right okay. Right. But I mean, I mean, they look all right, but it's really nothing that special. I do like the dice though, because they're big and chunky. Um, that that part's pretty that cool. And the battle die actually has like the pirate. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. So. But, I mean, I, I think I agree with the seven. I, I wouldn't go an eight. Yeah, that's where I'm, I'm feeling it. Um, so moving on to theme, obviously this is a pirate game. If you haven't figured out by now, we kind of like pirate theme games. What's, what's a pirate's favorite letter? R. You did it the wrong way. <laughs> it's this, it'd be the C. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's R. All right. R, um, no, it'd be the C. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, so theme-wise, but I, I do think the theme is very, very loose on this game. Yeah. It's not heavy. I mean, you do have an attack component, but honestly, I feel like it's more luck-based than anything, and it drives me. I, I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the attack component, and that's more gameplay. That's just because you lost every attack this round. Even, I'm not going to go there. Let's <laughs> keep going. <laughs> we'll get there in gameplay. Yeah. deny it. I did. I lost every single one, no, no matter I'm how saying, many I'm, cannons I'm, I'm, I had. Deny his no. point. No, no. I, I do think I. This is extremely luck based because these isn't done by ones. It's done by twos, and then the auto win. Auto win. I'm not. Uh, anyway, so because that killed me more out of not. Um, I, I agree. The theme's pretty light. I the mean, theme's light. Um, so for theme wise, I'm fine with. Mm, mm, the art's pretty good. I'd go with seven. I, I, I mean, yes, it's, it's... You can twist my arm for a second. You could put other themes on it, but I can't think of a theme that would be better for this. I mean, you're, you're sailing around, you're collecting treasure, you're attacking and stealing treasure from one another. To me, if you you know, we played the Tiny Epic Pirates, this is more piratey than that was. No. I don't agree with that. I personally do. I, I mean... So, but what would you give a score then? I'm thinking an eight on this too. I I, I think they this captures the essence of a pirate game. What would you and, give it, it with a race element? I think seven's high. I, I think seven's high. Like eh, it's kind of a twist the arm seven. Like yeah. I'm like I mean okay, maybe fine. if the treasure cards did a little bit more than just give you victory points or they do give you more than give you victory points. I didn't get anything, well, so I didn't feel that. Well, I can't help it. Did you didn't there were cannons? Well, There's a sword that gives you rerolls? I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it, I, didn't, it didn't exude a, a lot of pirate thing to yeah. me. I think it was pretty And pretty everyone else light. avoided attacks. But then, like, I went and attacked a bunch of people, but then I ended up losing every single one. And that was kind of lame. Um, 
for me at least. Uh, I'm not a huge fan. All right, so moving on to um, Rule Book. Rule Book, how was the Rule Book? Well, the Rule Book is interesting because, again, we you don't got, know it's the Rule Book by looking at it. Well, it, it's, it's, like it starts out looking like a centerfold, but it, and it loses you, but then it wins me back over because it's really a treasure map, which is really cool. The rules are actually a treasure map, and they have the arrows taking you from one section to the next on the Rule Book. And this is a very simple game. It doesn't require a lot of rules. I like the way they did the rules, though, just because it's a treasure map. That is awesome. Uh, but it's a very straightforward, you know, if you, I'm even probably off camera with this, but yeah, it, it yeah, is a treasure they're, map. They're, they're getting one, one yeah. part of it. Treasure map. Treasure map. There we go. Well, we can just oh, leave yeah. it there. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But I thought that was pretty cool. It's all going to get socked in the nose. Um, careful. The, it, the he, rules are, he don't know I'm tired. Does he not yeah. know that I'm tired and I'm grouchy? The rules, all right. the rules are very unique the way they've done it. So I what, thought it was the... I would give a, I'm giving an eight across the board. I'm so far. I'm wow. Yeah, it, this it's, one I'm going to trust you on because I got nothing. I, I'm, I don't have um, So moving on to gameplay. So this is a very light game. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Basically, um, the... The players, to whoever's the player turn, the ends up the captain ends up rolling the dice, and they have to decide whether to put the die on the daytime or the nighttime. And so that both dice get placed on one or the other, and then you have a hand of three cards, and each of those has an like, icon on the left and the right, which represents the day and the night. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I mean, you you were gonna no. Go ahead. It's all you. <laughs> Um, and then you do those, and then you lay, uh, so, and then the captain starts by laying down his card, and then it travels around the table, and you do those actions, um, which is going, if it's a red arrow, it's going back, if it's green arrow, it's going forward, and then all the different resources that are available to collect, uh, which are cannons, um, food, and coin. Um, and then if you do end up moving, whatever is on the requirement for that place where you land, you end up paying that. Um, resource, which is typically food, but it can also be money. Now, canon comes into play that if you land on a space that has another player on it, you immediately attack. So the attacker ends up rolling the, well, first they place the, dedicate the number of cannons that they're going to for the combat, and then they roll the die. The thing that I don't like about this is the automatic success. Um, if you roll that particular symbol, it the defender doesn't get to roll, you automatically win. Um, and vice versa, if you don't, yeah. and the defender rolls it, doesn't matter how well you roll or how many cannons mm -hmm. you volunteer. Yeah, because I, I, I mean, I put four cannons in, I rolled an eight, which is pretty good, but then I got an auto defeat um, as the defender, and I was like, man, that just, I don't know, it just, I don't It rubbed you the wrong way. It, it did, well, and it kept happening over and over again, and it's like, there you had no control over the attacks, and I didn't really care for that. I mean, if you're looking for a light game and don't really care, then then that's fine. But yeah, the um, cannon kind of pads the roll, but it doesn't mitigate the right. luck. Which is not cool for a resource. I mean, you're having to take actions and hold this in your cargo. They should be worth something. But, it didn't feel honestly, like they were the worth anything. The penalty anything. isn't that bad. You I mean, lose a you lose hole. a hole. All of your allocations when you get resources have to go into one of five holes, hole spots. And you can't cross over. So whenever you take them, you have to put them all in that spot. And if they get to steal one spot. Now, yes, it hurts, but it, you're eventually going to fill your hole anyway, and you'll have to drop stuff. So it's not that painful. Or they can hey, steal a treasure, and that's the more that, painful that's part. That's painful, or if you like built up six gold in one hole, and that's the one they steal from, yeah. that would hurt. Yeah, yeah I mean, because that's six victory points, right? No, my I think my thing is, is that... What's the point of cannons if it doesn't impact combat? And that's what I almost felt like. I mean, with the auto rolls, if one one of the players always ended up doing an auto success, and that just almost. seemed kind of ne negate any of the cannons. Well, why even bother collecting that resource at all if they're not going to help through the battling system? So that's kind of, I think, the thing that I was upset about is that, okay, I have these cannons. What's the point? I'm not going right. to do anything with them. Um, and so literally they're just wasting space in my hold and I should just avoid be, avoid attacking and just get rid of the cannons. And that's what I felt. And I felt like that's a useless part of the game. And so for me, that was kind of frustrating. Um, other than that, 
I think it's a fine little game. You know, it is a it's it's a race game. You're trying to get there across as fast as you can, and we have the resources that you need when you land on those spaces. What do you think? Um, the thing I liked about the game the most is more. I, you know, even though I gave the theme a seven, I the artwork on the cards are pretty neat. So, so, I, nice. so I like that. Um, but you know, I'm kind of the same boat. It's very luck based. Um, not a whole lot you can do to mitigate strategy. Um, several times towards the end of the game, the cards I got did not benefit me at all. And there was no way I could reshuffle, maybe redeal, or do something to be able to help me. Well, that's part of the game, though, because everybody gets the same deck. The I know that. that. I'm you're... just saying. No, no, so I know. But, but... The, the, the last three cards that I had was all resources. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and so, again, that's the luck part of it, is that it didn't... It didn't go well in my favor, and I get that. I, I don't hate it. It's just that I wish there was something I could have done to either help mitigate the luck or been able to change it or something that would have been more in my favor. Yeah, I, I think for me, like at the very beginning, I ended up with all my movement cards that, right at the beginning, right, and, and happened, I couldn't afford and I couldn't afford to do anything. And there were several times where I'm like, okay, well, I have to go the long way around because I'll end up on a blank space. But then that caused me just to be so behind. Right. And at the end of the day, I was last place. And I really felt it was because of the deck draw and what was given to me. You know, it's a luck-based game. And I think you got to know that going in. And at the end, that's why I was like, well, I, I get where I get. And I'm okay with it. Uh, yeah, it's a light game. I thought it was fun. I just didn't, don't love it. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I don't love it. It's it's easy, it's light, and that's where it is. Yeah, I mean, it it's is. not my top pirate game, is, you know, but it is one that's easy enough we can play it with Sarah. That is true. We can play it with your mom. She just likes this game a lot. It, it, you can play up six people. I like that. You know, it's it's not my favorite, obviously, of all the pirate games I have, but I, it's in my top, probably top five, because there's really? not that many pirate games really? out there. Libertalia, I'll play that in a heartbeat. That's, that's compared, also, that's a moment. But before I play this I play one. Pirate's Cove, I play Libertalia. I mean, we could do a whole video on what are my favorite right. pirate games. Obviously, Forgotten Waters, you know. Yeah, that's a great one. But too. I'm just saying, there's not that many great pirate games out there. This one's up in the top five, I think. Because of that, I you know now. If this is the game. if this is the top five pirate game, I'm telling you what, someone needs to do some more better pirate. Well, games. I don't disagree with that. I think there needs to be a lot better pirate games out there. I mean, we played some that I didn't. Remember care that for. Kickstarter we got that one time, and we, yeah. we still don't know how to play that. We, yeah, we sat there for like two days trying to figure out how to play this game. But yeah, I mean, we've tried a lot of pirate games. We like pirate theme. But we haven't. I haven't found too many of them that I like. You know, and I like to have variety too. Mm -hmm. And this one is varied. It's not the same as you know your Pirates Cove. It's not like Libertalia. All of those are different. And you know, I like that. I like having variety. Yeah. Um. And this you know, be, being that this is something we can get to the table easily with new pe new gamers. This is definitely a new gamer type level entry level game. Mm -hmm. Uh. And there is an expansion for it, which we still haven't played. Uh. We'll have to try sometime. But, I, I mean, I just like the way it works. It's a very smooth game. There, it, it, I like the flow of the deck. I like the fact that everybody has the same cards. And you can stack your deck because you get a hand of three cards. You can keep ones that you know you want to wait until strategically it's more advantageous. Like, I kept my movement card with double movement until there was like a five and a six. Right. So I got to jump up really far in that one move. You know, you can plan that ahead as long as you can hoard those, but there are those dreaded red arrow ones that move you back, so you want to strategically play those when you have like a one, you know, so you can minimize that. So you got to try to get, you know, I like that aspect that you're managing that hand. That's my favorite part of this game. And then, you know, treasure, you've got to kind of manage just to move around the board, but you also, at the end, want to stockpile as many coins as you can because the other treasure is worthless. I mean, the, the food and the cannons and right. all that. You know, so, I wish there was like a combined whole space or something so you could, I don't know. They could have done a few things to make I, this. If I were going to change one rule, I think it would have been kind of cool as like if I discard two to draw one. So I'm losing two cards out of that three-card hand, but I get to draw and maybe a fourth card that then maybe would supplement what I don't need out of my hand to maybe kind of affect what my options are for either movement yeah. or resources that I'm looking Because, I mean, I, I mean, that at the beginning just killed yeah. me of only getting movement I had, and not I being had able three, to get resources. You know, I had three cards with movement in it. So mm -hmm. it's not, I couldn't do that option of, man, I want to really save these yeah. for later. I had to play something. Yeah. And so it 
but again, that's luck based. I accept that. Yeah. And that's why I don't hate the game. I like it. I'll play it again. That's not a problem. It's just I don't love it. Yeah. yeah I'm 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 right there. Let's give it a score. I'd give it a seven. I'm gonna go eight across the board on this. I think it's an eight level game. Uh I'm gonna give this six point five. I okay. really don't like the combat system. Eight. The combat didn't bother me, yeah, but I like Axis and Allies, and Dice hate me in that game. So <laughs> I've come to accept that in my life. So I just wish there was a, a and I think I think that's the overarching theme when we talk about this. Our critique is is the fact that you can't really control anything. Right. And so maybe if you just all right, I'm just going to roll some dice and I'm going to get where I'm get and and but then. Those aren't games that I really enjoy. Right. I, I like to be able to affect my play. I personally feel you do have a lot more control of what you're thinking based, based on the deck of cards. Now, I understand you can get a crummy draw and get three cards that just aren't going to play with the dice. If you roll. played with what I had, you would have you would have just ended up just <laughs> But as I did bad. play with what you had. I just had it in a different distribution. That's well, what no, saying. but that's what I'm saying. If you got the, you know, and I... You know, and the other piece of it is rolling that dice and everyone else getting the auto hits. And I know if it would have been the reverse, you know, that, I don't know. It just seemed just so, because I ended up with nothing in my hall. I was unable to move. I, you know, it just, it really put me in a crappy position. And I, it took me forever to get out of it. And that was very frustrating. And the reality is, don't go into combat. That's what I learned is don't go into combat. Don't take that risk. But that's not what pirates are about. And oh, that's what drives I think you want to strategically do do that. I mean, first of all, you don't have a lot of choice sometimes because somebody might land on your space and then you're stuck. But if you know you've got an empty hull, what do you got to lose? I mean, you go in there and fight them. You know, the worst case scenario, you lose nothing. nothing. No, but I mean, but that's the thing is, is people kept landing on me, taking all my resources, and I couldn't go anywhere. And if I moved, I would have, like, uh, you shifted attacked all the way back. You, huh? you landed on me. No, the first two times you guys landed on me, and then I landed on you guys, trying to get my resources back. I never landed on. Anybody. I never started a combat. I got landed. I on. stayed in this seat the whole time. I was not on anyone. <laughs> <laughs> regardless, but, but you fought Sarah. I did. And so regardless, we got a mixed review. I yeah. think. I yeah. mean, it's not a bad game. I think you just have to go into it. It's luck. It's I agree with Randy. Play. I think that if you got some beginner level people, as far as gamers go, it's a good game to get into because um, it is. It's got some fun elements to it, and it probably has some memorable elements to it with those dice rolls. If it's exactly what you're looking for, it could be that oh, that's awesome type of moment mm -hmm. in a game. Uh, but because it's so luck based, I'm on Miranda's side in that regard. That if if there's just a little less luck, I like it more. Yeah. I'm right there with you. And we don't know what the expansion is. That's either, true, too. too. That That's true, too. That could change a lot. Okay. So. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We hope you had a um, fun hanging out with us. If you'd like to hang out with us again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We'd love to see you guys again. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Stretch exercise. Loosen up. Takes gotta do something. We gotta have a montage. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know we were doing three amigos. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> She's turning to the camera. <laughs> she broke the fourth wall. <laughs> you realize this is going to the end of the video. Of course. <laughs>